But let's get a roundup now before I say goodbye. Newsfeed AM ends and hands over to our following show. All the developments around the National Assembly Speaker, Nosi Biwe Mapisa Ngakula, and Newsroom Africa's junior Kumala has been keeping an eye on the story for us in Pretoria and joins me in studio. Uh, junior, right, so a morning where we have information, the information changes, and we've heard both from the speaker, from her advisors, from police, and a number of different people. What is the picture and the status this afternoon insofar as the speaker is concerned? concerned. Uh, indeed, Iman. Uh, so there's been a lot of moving parts within the story. So the expectation today was that the speaker is going to hand herself over uh, to the police in Pretoria. There was no clarity in terms of whether she was going to hand herself over to the Pretoria police, uh, Central Police Station or uh, in the Brooklyn police station in Pretoria. Uh, eventually, this did not happen because it seems uh, her lawyers have filed an agent application with the Pretoria High Court where they are seeking to interdict uh, that potential arrest. So in that agent application, uh, in that interdict, they are seeking to try and get the docket from the police to be submitted to her lawyers so that they go through uh, what charges she would be facing because the lawyers are arguing that these are flimsy charges. In that 94-page uh, uh, interdict, she also argues that this is politically motivated. It's not uh, something that is uh, based on factual uh, evidence that she tried to acquire any bribes. So we know that this has been ongoing since uh, 2021, actually. All right, so I've, I've got um, th those interdict papers, the 94-page document, as you say, and it's, 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 it's quite a detailed uh, document. It also talks about her time. I haven't been able to read the whole thing, obviously, on air as well. Um, and so there's a number of details in here insofar as what her defense would look like, among which, as you say, this request for information from police um, wanting access and disclosures from the dockets um, and saying also that this is tantamount the way things have unfolded to an abuse of process. I think the key thing, um, Junior, that a lot of the public, members of the public are concerned about is, you know, what exactly is happening? In terms of the news of her handing over, again, we've got different versions about whether that was ever meant to, to happen at all, whether police, if at all, have an arrest warrant which they were about to execute on her. So where do we stand with that? Is there, in fact, an arrest warrant? That is pending. Um, and if so, what, what are the officials saying about that? So according to media reports, there is a, a, a warrant that is, has, is pending. But when you speak to the NPA, we called the NPA spokesperson uh, this morning, and he indicated that as far as he knew, there was no impending warrant, and he could not comment any further. That was the comment that we got from the NPA themselves. And also the uh, in independent uh, investigative directorate also directed us to the NPA spokesperson. So they say they could not comment. But we know that that uh, warrant to go and basically uh, raid her home was issued by the investigative uh, directorate. So the Hawks are the ones that executed that uh, uh, warrant to go and raid the home. But the Hawks, the ID, all said the question should be directed to the NPA. The NPA itself is not coming out and telling us whether there is that warrant to basically arrest her. So there's that confusion as well because we are not getting enough information from the NPA as well as the Hawks themselves. All right. So, I mean, but you did say um, that there's no impending warrant accor according to the NPA and sort of all roads lead back to them as, um, you know, as a, a, an authoritative instrument and institution of state in this regard Indeed. around whether this happens or not. Okay, so that's the first piece, no impending warrant. Let's according put that, to the um, NPA according now, to the NPA, for now, yes, for, for now. now. And as we're saying, you know, these matters can be fluid. In our one, you could have a certain uh, amount of information which points in one direction. Our two and three, that could that ostensibly could change. Um, in terms of the handing over and appearing in court, where do we stand with that? Uh, in terms of the handing over and appearing to, uh, in court, the lawyers have went to the court. They seem to suggest that they have handed over these documents, the application, to the courts. According to the lawyer, he was speaking to uh, one of our media colleagues on 702 this morning. He said they've handed it over to the courts. So the courts are now going to hand it over to uh, the five individuals that are actually uh, mentioned in that application uh, as respondents. So that is going to happen. They are given until the beginning of April to respond to this application. Then after that, she will appear in court where this matter is going to then be uh, discussed by the judge in court and then uh, um, an outcome then will be handed down by the court. We've seen a number of moves uh, in the aftermath of all of these developments around um, the Speaker Junior. 
other members of um, the National Assembly and um, of Parliament, uh, other MPs, like the DA, for example, planning to take some form of legal and criminal action against her in terms of filing charges, um, you know, questions around her eligibility to even mm. occupy the position, the position uh, yeah. that she does right now. So there have been a number of developments insofar as her and her position as Speaker. I don't know if you can quickly... Just catch us up on those. Okay, so yesterday she announced that she was going to take uh, a special leave of absence uh, because of this pending uh, arrest. So she and her legal team seem to think that there is a pending uh, arrest. Hence the reason why they have applied to the courts to interdict that arrest. We don't know who told them about that then, that there is this impending arrest. But she has taken since taken special leave. But the DA has said that uh, she shouldn't take special leave. She should actually resign from that office because it's such a serious office for someone who has been accused of so many allegations to still hold that office. And also there's that question on whether uh, what really is special leave. So that's what some of these parties have been asking. What is special leave and what does it entail? Does she still get her full salary when she is on special leave uh, because of these serious allegations that she's still facing? So there's still all of that that is happening. She was also supposed to travel out of the country mm. to go to Geneva, but she has since cancelled uh, that trip, which has been confirmed by a legal team as well. So she is going to stay and she is going to try and fight uh, this impending arrest. Uh, on the threat of the arrest, it would be interesting, right, to hear yes. from a team why they thought then Indeed. that an arrest was going to be imminent. Because if you look at 15.3 of this 94-page document, that's where she addresses that particular issue. We were hoping to speak again to her team. We did make some contact, and unfortunately, there were some technical difficulties there. But this is also key. One of the things uh, that she's also noted in this document of hers is her position and status as Speaker and Member of the African National Congress, especially in the context of the step-aside rule, which carries what she says is the further humiliation of uh, publicity and public, public speculation, as well as the limitation on the continuation of her ability to continue with her office and her vocation. So there's a number of issues that pertain to her in her personal capacity. In the meantime, Junior, there's been such public outcry as to, you know, what about everybody else? Uh, you know, who is arrested and, and has a case that they need to answer. Does everyone have this particular recourse? So, the, again, is that, um, you know, that issue of anger that's coming uh, from the public. So this needs clarity and, and, and we need to understand, A, what the status is, uh, and B, what her response is to the public's response to what she's asked for. Uh, indeed. There's a lot of clarity that still needs to be uh, gotten, especially from the NPA side on whether there is that arrest warrant, but also from the ANC itself, because they are basically acting uh, and responding to what the Speaker has done, the special leave, but they haven't spoken uh, out a lot about some of the individuals that are implicated in the Zondo Commission that still find themselves in that candidate list uh, to basically hold serious position in cabinet should uh, the party win the elections. We also know that um, Nosivio Mapisa Ngakula herself had indicated that if, whether the ANC wins or not, she would not be standing uh, for election for that mm. position. So she had already made that clear that she's not availing herself for that position again. All right, so we hope that we have caught our viewers up and we've clarified some of the moving parts in the story today. Junior Kumalo, thank you very much.